Hi, Jordan from Medtech here. In the previous episode, we showed you how to cut and join LED strips together. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to solder connectors to your LED tape. What you'll need for today is some LED tape. Today we're working with pixel tape, connectors, soldering equipment, solder, wire cutters and strippers, tweezers, and some blue tack or reusable adhesive. There are heaps of different options for connectors, but today we're going to be demonstrating the JST SM connector that we use with NTAC pixel tape. Whatever connector you decide to use, you need to make sure it has enough wires or terminals for the LED tape that you're using. For example, most NTEC pixel tape has three terminals, VCC, data, and ground. On the other hand, for CV tape, you will need four terminals, red, green, blue, and VCC. For RGBW, you'll need five. Today, we're using standard pixel tape with three terminals. And now it's time to prep our job. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of blue tack and we're gonna place it on our working surface. We can use this blue tack to hold our LED tape so it doesn't move while we're trying to work with it. Just like in the last episode, it's best to tin the pads of the LED tape before soldering anything together. It's done like this. We will also need to prep the wires that we're soldering to the tape. First, we'll need to strip the wire. Then, we'll twist the strands together. Finally, we'll tin the wire by applying solder and heat. Before we solder the connector and the tape together, we'll have a look at the colour configuration on the connectors that you have available to you. On standard NTEC pixel tape, we use red for VCC, yellow or green for data, and black for ground. Today's connectors will be using green for VCC, yellow for data, and black for ground. Now it's time to solder our connectors to our LED tape. This step is delicate because the terminals are small. You'll also need to retain a bit of downward pressure on the wire so that it doesn't spring away before the solder joint cools. If you particularly value your fingers, you might want to use a pair of tweezers. And there we have it. We've now soldered our connector to our pixel tape. We can now use a matching connector to wire into a controller. Or we can even join another section of tape, allowing us to chain sections together with a detachable link. And that's it for this episode. Comment if you have any questions, like, share, and subscribe if you found this video useful. Make sure to check out our social media pages and stay tuned. We're gonna bring you more episodes of these helpful NTech tips.